to make the person feel like they are at home you know so which is again what pushed me towards this area in my life because i i know the importance of how it feels like to feel strange in a stranger's land you know you don't want to feel that so when you feel at home when you feel at ease at a place that's that's the entire point right so hospitality means that to me there was uh, this year 2020 where i was very confused which um, college should i choose what should i do because a lot of colleges across india um provide education in a very traditional sense you know it's very conventional it's very monotonous it's it's something which is going on since ages i was introduced to ish um through a family friend and um, i realized upon researching about this place and also coming over here and visiting the campus that this place is not your traditional uh, hospitality college it's not that it doesn't end over here um ish is a blend of india's warmth with the ethos of the global world so i think that is what kind of you know told me that okay you know you should take this uh, leap of faith you should go ahead and join this institute i feel like the biggest selling point of ish is that you are not restricted to one thing you know when i joined ish i don't know why what was inside me i wanted to get into fnb when i came over here i don't know there was someone who told me that wait and watch your mind's going to change after some time and of course i interacted with uh, my my colleagues and everyone who told me that you know fnb is not as hunky dory as it looks on the outside you know it's 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 a lot that goes behind closed doors so i said okay fine we'll see we'll see and then as time passed i went from fnb which was operations to hr which is non operations and then um hotels was something which i was adamant on you know to work for a, in that industry so that really kind of unfolded in itself and um, yes ish has provided great opportunities to me and they in fact even told me don't restrict yourself to just this to just hotels to they really push you you know they tell you don't restrict yourself geographically don't restrict yourself when it comes to a particular industry don't restrict yourself when it comes to a particular um, you know field of work um so yeah that way they're very motivating and they they teach you to become flexible I such as not restricted to just one thing right I could get into anything not just HR but marketing as well if not marketing sales uh I did get options for all of them the PGP batch we had 14 15 of us in the batch not a very big batch but people were from diverse backgrounds different states all across uh, india different experiences they all were experienced in fact i was the only one in my batch who had never worked before this so i was like the youngest also in my batch you know so i was this little child in a certain way though i had not let that uh, be put up in the front but um yeah they all came from a lot of experience and a lot of um, knowledge about this industry um so the amount of perspective that was in the class the point of views which were there in that small cohort was brilliant um i learned a lot from each one of them certain things which i am going to take away for the rest of my life one thing that sets i such apart from the other institutes are the professors and by professors i mean they just are not your ordinary professors they come from experience it's almost like industrial learning happening uh, uh, in the classroom Uh, so i think that is what i realized after coming over here this idea never struck me before when i realized in the working world that when you have a professor who is from that area who has worked and who's teaching you it makes a lot of difference you know it does make a lot of difference so um the importance of that was realized by me while i was interning over here because the kind of uh, experience that they get with them practical experience is something which really helps you when you are practically applying the theory out in the open one thing that i realized is that i was paranoid of um presentations and ever since i came to ish the amount of presentations we've had over here were insane it's like we used to have like one or two presentations every day you know so we were like always on the presentation mode so that fear i said just completely removed from me the, the public speaking something which was not my comfort zone at all but then it it pushed me to go to that level and just kill that fear of mine so that was done there uh when i went out in the open and i started working what i realized is that for me 
if you ask me, do you like your job? Do you like your work? I think my answer would rely, 70% of it would rely on how I'm being treated at that place. My work culture at Ecor is beautiful. The way the people are over there is, is commendable because um, everyone over there is are coming from 15, 20 years of experience. They're all um, very senior. I am the youngest person in the office and um, they don't let they don't they don't see me as an intern they see me as someone who's working with them they give that amount of respect and that amount of importance to me and vice versa of course uh, so they, there's no um, uh, barricade or anything of that sort which is there at my workplace which is why if you ask me do i like my internship i would say no i love my internship because i'm getting a lot of respect at my workplace there's a lot of work-life balance as well which is going on over there for everyone I think ISH also has taught me in a certain way that you have to ensure that you have a good work-life balance when you go out in the open. You just can't let work consume you the entire time. This is what we had been told and taught in our classes by a lot of our professors. So that is how it is. And also after my internship, I plan to continue in this, hopefully, in this um, company itself. Um, probably in one of their hotels or let's see, wherever you know I get in. But I want to work for this company because uh, the the work culture over here is very, they, they really value their employees a lot. One misconception which, which I would like to address, uh, which is out in the open, uh, in India, hospitality is seen as a field which is underpaid. This is how uh, India views it. I'd say don't let the words of other people stop you from pursuing what you want to, what you want to pursue. If you are focused on something, give it your 200% because at the end of it all, what matters is what makes you happy. You have to do whatever makes you happy. Don't, don't really worry about what other people have to say. They're going to say things regardless of it. You have to do what you love. Give your best at everything you do, even if it means breaking the, breaking the laws, not, uh, not uh, illegally, but if it means convincing people that you want to go out there and you want to pursue something which is uh, out of the ordinary, go ahead and do it. Along the pathway, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, make mistakes, but don't make the same mistakes twice. Make new mistakes, you know? And if it is something which inspires you and makes you happy upon waking up in the morning, then don't let anything stop you from achieving it. It's really as simple as that. So I think if there is any aspirant out there who's skeptical about joining hospitality, if it makes you happy, if it gives you uh, an adrenaline rush, being around people, serving people, then do give it a shot. Um, because at the end of it, even if it doesn't work out for you, in the bleakest of chances, you will have no regrets because you will learn a lot from this. Group.